The unofficial start to summer sent thousands of people to the beach. CBS 2's Ali Bauman in Coney Island with all the fun in the sun. Well, if there's one place synonymous with summer in New York City, it's Coney Island. And its first official weekend of the season did not disappoint. Coney Island looked postcard perfect for Memorial Day. Fresh air, uh, the view, the rides, the people. It's a beautiful day. Kamal Taylor brought his six-year-old daughter to Luna Park for her very first time. We took a walk and we got some food and now we're about to do some rides. This year, the boardwalk turns 100 years old. And a holiday weekend like this is when it really shines with music, games, and good food. We got on a roller coaster. It was so fun. It's like a big family. I love it. It gets more American than this. I mean, where else can you pet a python than ride a nearly 100-year-old roller coaster? Were you scared on the ride? Yeah. Was it fun? Yeah. The wind was strong throughout the day, and all the sand whipping in the air gave the beach a dusty haze. What was your favorite part of the day? Probably the beach. There were some people braving the chilly water, unlike Seabright, New Jersey, where the waves were mostly empty with red flags flying. Tuck out of the wind, and it's warm and sunny. It's gorgeous. If you do go in the water this summer, marine experts warn beware of sharks. Four great white sharks have been detected near the tri state area in the past few weeks as they make their annual migration from Florida to Canada. But back at Coney Island, the only worry was whack a mole. And even as the day was winding down, summer here is just getting started. We only got three more months, so let's make it work. And starting next month, Friday Night Fireworks returns here to Luna Park every week through August. From Coney Island, Allie Bauman, CBS2 News.